Hello and welcome to another Lumion 8 live stream tutorial. Lumion 8 has come out with a lot of new features and I would like to I'm here we're going to cover a couple of them in particular in uh, specifically now. And this time we're going to cover Lumion's new feature which is the ability to to create your new content library. Pause as Lumion is opening up right now. But first Let's go to the to the what's new fa um, page on the website and kind of go over how they explain it in here. It's not technically a new feature. It's something we could do before. So you create your own object library, but they've made it much simpler and easier to manage. So it says Lumion Library is renowned for quality and size. When importing objects, the library gets bigger and bigger, and sometimes we get so many objects that it's hard to find them again. And so the ability to create tabs like we're showing here is what this new feature makes simple. So let's just go ahead and jump into a quick quick example here. Let's just do a blank scene. So this isn't my main computer, so I don't have nearly as many objects as I normally do, but on my main computer I have tabs and fo folders and folders and folders of, of objects over, over all the years I've used Lumion. And although we have a search button in here, not, usually that searches for the original file name and sometimes it's just hard to find exactly what you're looking for, having to scroll through all of these. But Lumion has the ability and has had the ability to create tabs to organize these. And so I want to go over very quickly, show off where we can actually create those tabs. This is something we've done before. When you go to your My Documents folder and you find I have 7.0 here still, but we're going to jump into Lumion 8.0. Click on that. And this folder right here, Library. This is what holds all of your imported models. And I don't want to go too technical into this, but each model has usually four of these little files that go with it. They all do something. You're looking at pretty much the raw information. Don't worry about that. What I want to explain is that before, you could create a folder and call it, um, let's see, we can call it exterior objects for example and you could actually move this folder over into here and that's how you would do it before the only thing is it as you can see a lot of people don't want to jump into this it's it's kind of it could be kind of tricky or daunting or people don't want to touch these things and I wouldn't blame them but this is a way we could actually organize our old objects and now in Lumion 8, whenever we import a new object, this is where this feature comes into him. It comes um, comes into play. So I just have a couple random objects very quickly I want to add in. For example, this these barrels. Maybe I'll use them potentially in animation. So this is the new area right here. This is the new feature in Lumion 8. This is a much cleaner and easier way to do exactly what I had done, just showed you guys. And so now main shows up on here, and that new one I just created, exterior objects, now that's in there. So let's go ahead and create another category, give it a name, and maybe I'll just call this exterior entourage. And then everything else is the same. It's just another import of of a SketchUp object or whatever object brings it in, we're bringing in. You know, it comes in, but now when we go to look at our library, we that exterior objects now has a ta has a tab that we did manually, and now exterior entourage, as well, from these barrels has showed up, and our barrels are right there. Now you may be noticing the exterior objects I put a model into is not showing up in here, because when we edit these things while Lumion is open it's although it recognized the new folder in fact I wonder how quickly this interior objects I wonder how quickly this updates 
Um, it does update quickly, but the you, the models will not be moved until you shut Lumion off and turn it back on again. But as you can see, when we import the barrels, it came in right away. So let's try another one. Import this little lamp feature, and this time I'm going to put it. I'm going to choose interior objects. So there it is, and here, and there it showed up right there. And if I were to shut this off and turn it back on again, we would see the object we put into here. But as you can see, the Lumion library can get very large, especially, for example, whenever I do a 4D animation, I have lots of pieces of objects that I don't necessarily want to delete later. They do take up a lot of space in here. If now I can easily start to put the categorize these into the project or into whatever I want to title them. I'd also keep in mind that the titles on here, I, you know, full exterior entourage is kind of big. Maybe there's something else you could uh, abbreviate it because I'm not sure what happens when you run out of tabs up here. So you might have a limited amount to show up. But keep this is an opportunity to think about how you can better organize some of your objects if this is a problem. And so now with Lumion 8, as you've seen, it is much easier to organize these things as you bring them in. And it's, t it's worth the extra moment it takes to add it and put it into that category. But as I explained, we can do that manually in through here. So I've covered two things really, how to do it the old way and how to manipulate your old objects and how Lumion 8 has made that easier. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, this tutorial, we have plenty more on the way for Lumion 8's many new features. And until next time, guys.